Awesome. And the second one finishes at the same time. Not that we really need one here, because we do have the Scout Patrol, but that's all right. And you will automate. Turn complete. Although planet's native life is based, like Earth's, on right-handed DNA and codes for all the same amino acids, the inevitable chemical and structural differences from a billion years of evolution in an alien environment render the native plant life highly poisonous to humans. Juicy ripe grenade fruits may look appealing, but a mouthful of organonitrates will certainly change your mind in a hurry. Lady Deidre Sky, A Comparative Biology of Planet. This woman has the strangest accent. It's like, it's like she's trying to do a light Scottish accent, uh, but not really pulling it off. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't put my finger on it. It's really weird to me, though. All right, biology lab is done. Um, well, the energy bank is always good. Just some more money. And then other than that, I don't know. Um, you can build a C-former because you're not maintaining one. I mean, ideally, I kind of sometimes aim to have every city own one former and then maybe one C former, have one defense, and then after that, like, what do you do? I could start putting some points into one of these uh, uh, secret projects. I probably won't get these, but maybe I'll research something new that will unlock it at some point. I don't know, we'll go research hospital, and then we'll see. We may do that if it comes up again. Terraform complete. Auto. Auto. Turn complete. Spartans announced loss of survival base to the hive. Terraform Spartans are just complete. Their Turn kick. complete. They're pretty hit and miss. Sometimes they can claim a lot of territory early on, um, and then they're pretty freaky. The wicked have told me the of things are like that, that delight too. them, but not such things as your law has to tell. Saint Augustine, confessions, data links. So this unlocks a secret project, which is actually very cool. Uh, the planetary data links. You automatically discover any technology discovered by any three other factions. This is the ultimate way to catch up if your science sucks. You tech up to this, you build this, and then you, you're you never going to be at the cutting edge of technology um, because you know this only lets you catch up, but you will never fall behind too, too far. So really, really nice thing to build. It's not going to be for us, though, because they'll all this be almost be no point. Um, if you're working with direct research, not blind research, you could build this and then just sort of beeline down a specific branch as deep as possible while your other branches sort of get filled up by the, uh, the data links. But I'm not going to worry too much, especially since it's blind research now. This also unlocks a new social engineering uh, value called knowledge. So we're going to, right at first we were just valuing survival above all else. But now we've uh, we've grown our, our faction, our civilization, to the point where we could change our value to knowledge. This would give us a fur further penalty to probes, uh, so it greatly increases the success rate of enemy spying against us. Um, but we would have exemplary efficiency, which would mean a lot more um, just energy and stuff kicking around, I think. Uh, just a better economy overall. Um, Although, see, what's economy versus, this reduces energy loss to inefficiency. Economy is more energy production. So, oh yeah, right, 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 yeah. Okay, so it, it's still going to be really good for us. Furthermore, it gives us plus two to research. We already have plus two, so now uh, we're doing 40% better research rate instead of 20%. So, ain't nothing wrong with that. I definitely like it. Plus, as the university, how could you not have knowledge as a value? Pay the energy, and let's move Production on. complete. Oh, energy reserves are running low. Um, hold on, let me check, take a look. Our net income is 1. And our energy is 34. Yeah, we're making money. Netting one. Not not a considerable amount of it, but we're making some money. So I'm not too worried. Okay, automate you. You can just hold position. Turn complete. Alright, and go. Turn complete. Turn complete. Oh, they're starting to build roads too, which is good. Forced expansion. 
Hercules has receded from Perihelion. Native life activity should return to normal levels. I didn't notice a problem, but we are getting rid of a lot of fungus. Uh, Merchant. Oh. Gaian's life is merely an projects. orderly decay of so energy secret. states, and survival requires the continual discovery of new energy to pump into the system. He who controls the sources of energy controls the means of survival. CEO Nwabuda K. Morgan, the Centauri Monopoly. Mm -hmm. Production okay. complete. Let us find those freaking. Clearly, we cannot automate um, these these foils because they keep going to the wrong places. They just park in these cities forever and ever. Uh, you're no longer hurt, so you can start moving again. I hate that that explore code is broken, because that's one of my favorite things to automate. Because it's so rarely a bad thing to automate like that. Uh, you come down here and open up the Turn pods. Computers. Merchant exchange is about to In finish. the borehole pressure mines 100 kilometers beneath planet's surface, at the Mohorovicic discontinuity where crust gives way to mantle, temperatures often reach levels well in excess of 1,000 degrees Celsius. Exploitation of planet's resources under such brutal conditions has required quantum advances in robotic and teleoperational technology. Morgan Industries Limited, Annual Report. So we are getting technologies really fast, but that's because we're the university and we currently are operating at a 40% bonus on our research. Um, so industrial automation has unlocked a few things. We'll talk about the supply crawlers in a moment. Unlock the HAB complex. So, um increases the maximum so w there's a maximum size to your cities um, normally I think it's six so by building hab complexes you can go up all the way to 13 presumably so that's pretty key at some point we can also build the planetary transit system which is really good any new bases you f you begin so all your bases start at population size three this will also improve your existing bases if you when you finish this if you already had one at size one or two it'll grow up to size three and one less drone at all bases of population three and under not that that's going to really affect us too much but this is it's pretty good especially if you are uh expanding rapidly at around the same time as you build this thing um and we're sort of in that phase so we're going to keep that one in mind it would not be terrible especially if we want to rule all the seas um and uh yeah, we can start some trade treaties. New units. Okay, so the supply crawler is really weird. Um, you build this thing, and it doesn't cost supply, at least, thank God. So you can build these pretty much all over. And you can plop them down on a tile. Uh, so ideally, what you can do is, like, put them on a tile that's not in range of any of your cities. And then you, you can sort of consume them, and you pick either nutrients, minerals, or energy. And they send those resources from that tile to your city. Um, so they're actually really, really good, and we're going to definitely build a few. Um, so we could change our value to wealth, but we're not going to do that. Production complete. I guess I'm not being very efficient with my movement. Turn complete. But, um, Production complete. I'm going through a fungus Mod recovered. Sea farming pod. Okay, that's good. Spread that kelp. I don't mind that at all. Oh. Mod recovered. Mineral pod. Turn complete. Merchant exchange is Production done. Production complete. That's okay. Former is good, but we want to make you. That's fine. Turn complete. Yeah, merchant exchange. Built by the believers, really? Huh. Production complete. Resupply pod, 50 energy. Well, that's not bad. Okay, you finished the sea former. We're going to change your production. Although, you've got no support yet, so... But well, that's okay, we'll leave you at free. Free's good. Oh, recycle tanks, how are we like that? Come on. Um, children's crash. Energy bank. Aqua farm. Stuff. And probably a hab complex by the time you're done all that. And just automate. And you, yeah, let's find... Let's clear up a block of this black stuff, because we're going to want to set Turn it. complete. Production Technological complete. advance is an inherently iterative process. One does not simply take sand from the beach and produce a data probe. We use crude tools to fashion better tools, and then our better tools 
to fashion more precise tools, and so on. Each minor refinement is a step in the process, and all of the steps must be taken. Chairman Shen Jiyang, looking God in the eye. So this unlocks the ability to make artillery units, which are not particularly relevant in the game. So we don't even want to look at them. Pod recovered. Oh, sonar data is actually kind of helpful. And what are you? Nope. So I have to do it all. A Morganic Colony Pod. Hmm. I wouldn't mind destroying that, but I probably won't. Turn complete. Action eradicated. Hive have eradicated the Spartans. Colonel Santiago has been captured and interrogated. No escape for you this time, Colonel. Hello, Morgan. Ah, the brilliant Provost Zakharov, first among university. I lead the Morganites, and I am honored to be their CEO, Morgan. We intend to reap the rightful rewards of skillful investment and planning. You may be interested to know that I've been in touch with her former colleague, Lal, who lately has been styling himself Brother of the Peacekeepers. Lal has become quite obsessed with his humanitarian initiatives, but we have had several fruitful conversations, and I believe he could provide you with information on optical computers. If you like, I can provide you with his comlink frequency in exchange for a mere 65 energy credits. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to pay you 70, 65 credits just for a comlink. It would be actually really nice to have, but no. Uh, now, a trade, he wants my cyber ethics, which is a build level 4 technology, um, in exchange for ecological engineering, which is an exploration level 4. So it's a level 4 for a level 4. I'm totally willing to do that trade. Would he be willing to take it for the C1? That would be really funny. The prevalence <laughs> of noxic environments rich in organic material combined with the presence Wait. of nitrated compounds has led to an astonishing variety of underground organisms which live in the absence of oxygen and breathe nitrate. Likewise, the scarcity of carbon in the environment has forced plants to economize on its use. Thus, all our efforts to return carbon to the biosphere will encourage the native life to proliferate. Conversely, the huge quantities of nitrate in the soil will be heaven to human farmers. Lady Deidre Sky, The Early Years. So, this doesn't give us any buildings or anything, but it unlocks a lot of former options. Uh, so, the other thing is, the tiles for longest time can only produce up to two of their resource, either two uh, nutrients, two minerals, or so on. Uh, so you need various texts to lift those restrictions. Um, so now formers are able to actually plant fungus, which is interesting. Um, and you really could have a fungus-based economy if you wanted to. Uh, you can also construct echelon mirrors. So echelon mirrors are big mirrors. You build them in tiles next to solar panels and it increases the output of your solar panels. So as long as you've got like two solar panels together it's actually worth building the echelon mirrors. You can also do construct thermal borehole which is drilling to the center of the earth and taking advantage of geothermal energy and drill to aquifer which uh, basically creates a new river and helps your farms and stuff. So lots of options there. I don't tend to mess with those too much, although the thermal borehole is actually really, really good. Um, he wants cyber ethics in exchange for a world map. No. Uh, I can give you a level two tech for a world map, though. It might actually be worthwhile. Frankly, you've, yeah, let's do that. He wants, Friend Zakharov, I can offer lucrative trading agreements if you will agree to a treaty of friendship. Shall we become business partners? Hmm. His might is feeble. Um, you know, not yet. I don't, I want to know how everything lies before I agree to any friendship treaties. So, no, all the profit would find its way into your pocket. Provost, your impractical green economics are causing irreparable harm to legitimate business interests. I can only hope you will not completely wreck our economy with this nonsense. Yeah, he doesn't like the green. Uh, I cannot condone the atrocities you have committed against your own colonists. I must warn you to refrain from mass genocide in the future. Uh, he must be talking about the nerve stapling. Uh, so he's obstinate right now. He's actually not that friendly to me. Um, hmm. Research data, name your price, no, nothing. All right, 
Goodbye. Oh, so your island is right here. You didn't actually have much of a map to give me. I'm really disappointed by that. Damn it. Okay, let's pop these. Bot recovered. And kelp is good. Bot recovered. 150 energy is really good. Turn complete. Wow. Production complete. Bot recovered. Oops, sonar data and not really that Bot recovered. Sea farming. Oh, Turn had complete. Kelp over there, so it's actually not doing much. Production worse. complete. Garrison, yes. Bot bar, recovered. 50 energy credits. Turn it's complete. Right. Production war complete. War is war. Destruction is destruction. You think this is obvious. But war is not destruction, it is victory. To achieve victory, simply appear to give the opponent what he wants, and he will go away. Or join you in your quest for additional power. Data Tech Cinderose. Information burns. This uh, Cinderose, this is from the expansion. It's one of the faction leaders we don't have in this game. Uh, so this unlocks Pulse 3 armor. Uh, it's level 3 armor, and it gives you an extra 25% bonus against ground units with more than one move, which is, say, speeders and hover tanks. So this is basically uh, your anti-cavalry uh, armor, plus it's strength 3, which is definitely an improvement over anything we've got, so that's good. Also, marine detachment, which allows you to board and capture enemy ships that have been damaged. So that's alright. Um, yeah, it gives new units. So yeah, armor 3 is definitely not bad. These will cost more, of course, than the cheaper armor ones, but it may be worthwhile. That's probably been claimed, but... No, no, it's still there. Bot recovered. Mineral pods for unity. Let's us instantly build a children's crash. Hooray. Turn complete. Enemy project initiated. Uh, planetary transit system. Yeah, Enemy project nice. initiated. Planetary data links. All right. Production yeah, you might need complete. It. So we are going to build. Wow, we've got no production here. Just two. Oh yeah, these ocean places are going to be pretty bad unless we build um, whatever you call it. There's an improvement that you can do. Um. So yeah, let's not worry about that. Maybe we're going to build you a aqua farm. And I don't know. Other stuff. Doesn't really matter. Indigenous life forms. Three, two, sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, barely. Pardon status is good. Turn complete. Production Expansion complete. Is good. Yay, peacekeepers. Ah, the brilliant Provost Zakharov, first among university. I lead the peacekeepers, and I am honored to be their brother law. We intend to defend humanitarian principles of our original UN charter. See, I can appreciate that. His might is sufficient. Mine is formidable. Um, you may be interested to know that I've been in touch with our former colleague, Deidre, who lately has been styling herself Lady of the Gaians. Deidre has become quite... De Deirdre? I don't know. I have become quite obsessed with her environmental initiatives, but I have had several fruitful conversations with her, with her. If you like, I can provide you with her comlink frequency in exchange for mere 95 energy credits. No, no thanks. Uh, he wants humans of... He wants secrets of the human brain in exchange for his optical computers. Well, that's really good, because we are coming out ahead there. It's a deal. We have reached an informational threshold which can only be crossed by harnessing the speed of light directly. Why didn't we already have computers? The quickest computations require the fastest possible particles moving along the shortest paths. Since the capability now exists to take our information directly from photons traveling molecular distances, the final act of the information revolution will soon be upon us. Ooh. Academician Proker Zaharov or I have tasted the fruit. So this doesn't actually give us anything, it just unlocks the option of going to other technologies. Um, he wants a tech for world map? No. 
I must caution you that my engineers have completed an advanced recon rover prototype, 212. The first units are entering service now, rendering my forces practically invincible. Well, A, you're not close to me, so I'm not really impressed. B, my forces can probably defend that. C, he's magnumonious, so he actually loves me. An emergency has arisen at one of my bases. Lives are at stakes, and information on industrial economics is required immediately. Can you help? Um... He is formidable. It might sufficient. You know, it might be a good idea to make friends with Lol, frankly. He's already pretty friendly. I can probably turn this down and that'll be just fine. Uh, fragmentation of this mission has been a disaster. Won't you sign a treaty of friendship and help me reunite the others? Actually, yes, I am with you. Splendid! My humanitarian initiatives and your research complement one another nicely. The peacekeepers in the university have much to gain from this friendship. We shall commence trade and commerce at once. Yay! I believe we're finished here. And you go heal. And you can automate. Turn complete. Yeah, keep going that direction. Production on. complete. And we are definitely going to colonize down here. Probably, you know what, I'm just going to eat the fungus, that'll be fine. Because then we don't have to clear away any more, or eat the kelp, that way we don't have to clear away any more fungus. Turn complete. And Deep Sea Lab. Founded in 2224, so we've been here, when did we land? 2160? I think. So we've been here 74 years, wow. Okay, synth metal garrison, yes. Uh, sea formers. Children's crash. Aqua farm. Research! Excellent. Turn complete. Production complete. Um, automate. Heal. Exploration. Yang! Hello! So his might is unsurpassed. Okay. Well met, Prova Zakharov. I am now called Chairman Yang, and act as the voice of the Hive, whose intent is to found a society on the principles of security and control. I see you and your minions have flourished on this unforgiving world. The fanatic Sister Miriam and her Bible-thumping minions have ruthlessly attacked my holdings. Will you assist me in repulsing them? Um, no, I have pledged blood truce with the believers. I do like that it carries that over. Through cooperation, we can achieve mutual satisfaction of needs. Will you transmit your files on optical computers, D3, in exchange for your information, for my information on nonlinear mathematics, C2? Mm. Apparently, no matter what, I'm going to be giving up a C3, uh, a level 3, and only getting a level 2. Sorry, that is out of the question. Uh, so he has an impact rover, a 422. Holy cow! That is pretty strong. Um, holy cow. I'm happy we're not close. Proctor Zakharov, I'm concerned that you appear to be withholding scientific data in violation of the UN Charter for this mission. Please release your files on adaptive doctrines to me at once. Yeah, because I want you building ships and coming to kick my ass. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think so, first of all, in all kinds of ways. Would be nice if I didn't go around screwing up my diplomacy with this guy, since he seems pretty, um, like, strong, but I don't want to make him stronger, so... Hmm, perhaps you can ask the UN to invoke sanctions. Ha ha ha! I find your unwillingness to cooperate disturbing. Okay. Further business? Um, who do you have a vendetta against? Oh, Miriam? No, no. You can, you can vendetta against her as much as you want. I believe we've finished here. Turn complete. Men has killed men from the beginning of time, and each new frontier has brought new ways and new places to die. Why should the future be different? Colonel Corazon Santiago, Planet, a survivalist guide. All right, so this unlocks the punishment sphere. Uh, you build this in a city, and it eliminates both drones and talents at the base, and decreases vulnerability to enemy mind control, but reduces lab's output by half. So, you have no quote-unquote unhappy people, but you also don't have anyone particularly happy. 
uh, and your science is, is hindered. So you would have to have really, really terrible um, happiness problems to justify this, or a lot of mind control attempts going on, which could happen if you're right next to the Morganites or something. Uh, so we're not going to be building that. Uh, it also gives us deep radar. Uh, allows a unit to spot enemies and train up to two squares away. That's kind of neat. And AAA tracking. So, increased in abilities defense against air and missile attacks by 100%. Okay. So, anti aircraft. Or anti anti aircraft? I, I don't know. Um, more units. Okay. Discovery of advanced military algorithms allowed our colony... Oh yes, let's take a look at this. So we could value power. Gives us a penalty to industry, but a huge boost to morale and support. Which is not a terrible thing to do if you're going to war, but we're going to definitely keep knowledge at this point. Um, would we want to switch to democratic? We would lose our support, and we would lose production, productivity in a lot of places. We could also go to police state, which would hurt our efficiency. Mm, on the other hand, we'd be building things a lot faster. I don't know, we're okay. Production complete. Turn complete. Production complete. Hold tight there. You can hit a dead end apparently. Turn complete. Another one, alright. Turn complete. Enemy project initiated. Okay, you can build your secret projects, that's fine. Kelp. Production complete. This is complete. That's good. There's probably buildings we could build. We can do the sea former thing, but let's go for money and come on, scroll. Why won't you scroll? Why did the sound stop? Let me tab out for a sec here. I'm confused. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Um. <laughs> Research hospital. Oh, we don't need a hab complex anywhere, do we? Uh, Zoloto's getting fairly big. We're gonna definitely make sure to queue one up. And that's really the only one. Okay. Automate. Turn complete. Um. Okay. Enemy project initiated. No Some civilian workers projects. got in among the research patients today <laughs> and became so hysterical I felt compelled to have them nerve staples. <laughs> the consequence, of course, will be another public relations nightmare. But I was severely shaken by the extent of their revulsion towards a project so vital to our survival. CEO Nwabudake Morgan, The Personal Diary. So, research hospital, yeah. See, a little, um, ethically questionable, clearly. Uh, so. Project complete. Oh, we finished the Empath Guild. Cool. Again, there's going to be a video. It's going to be a little stupid size, but I like the videos. Oh, this one may not actually be a very good video, actually. Just show you some of the symbols for everyone. Symbols are the key to telepathy. The mind wraps its secrets in symbols. When we discover the symbols that shape our enemy's thought, we can penetrate the vault of his mind. Lady Deidre Sky, our secret war. I do like how the book is called Our Secret War. I think that's kind of nifty. So, that gives us contact with everyone, even if we hadn't already had it. Um, and we've... I think we have everyone now. But it also gives us 50% more votes in uh, some elections, so that's that's alright. I don't know, that was maybe a waste. I kept thinking it was going to be... I don't know. Maybe I should have just manually switched it. Could have finished the planetary transit system by now. Ah, well. Let's build uh, the researchy things. Here, here. Hab complex, because we'll need it at some point. Aqua farm. Should probably should have built earlier. That's fine. Since we have comm frequencies for all the other active factions, you can now, if you wish, convene the Planetary Council to vote upon planetary policies. Sure. Oh, we didn't have Deidre. Hello! 
Ah, the brilliant Provost Zakharov, first among university. I lead the Gaians, and I'm honored to be their lady and deity. We intend to guard, understand, and preserve planet's native life. Um, go to war with the chairman. Um, no, your might is also feeble, so I'm definitely not going to ally with you on there. She wants E4 in exchange for C2. No. Um, although, maybe I could just trade away C3. Maybe I could t do these trades at a loss, just to, um... I mean, if I'm trading with everyone, then I do come out ahead. Adaptive Doctrine. Again, that's the, uh, that's the seafaring one. And actually, I quite like the C control for now, so... No, sorry. You have a 2-1-2. Oh, I'm quaking in my booties. Um, your faction is indeed a mighty one, but my force, forces are yet strong, and I shall not allow you to plunder the wealth of this planet without cutting me in for a share. The, your, my price is your data on adoptive da doctrines. No, your faction is no longer significant, Lady Deirdre. That is a hell of a thing to say to someone. I sense you are a friend of planets, suggest we sign a treaty of friendship. Um, actually, I don't think I like that idea, because Yang is going to be upset if I do that. I mean, more upset. No, this friend of planet stuff gives me the creeps. Your respect for the planet's fragile ecosystem is much appreciated. I can only hope that others will follow your excellent example. I cannot condone the atrocities you have committed against your own colonists. I must warn you to refrain from mass genocide in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, we're finished here. See, I like the diplomatic model in this game. Turn complete. Okay, Morgan has finished the planetary energy grid, or about to. What do you want, Miriam? Ah, Pro Provost Zakharov the Brilliant. It is ever a pleasure to match wits with you. Well, you don't have much wits to match, but alright. I, Sister Miriam of the Believers, am at your service. That was quite nice. You have an impact rover, a 422? Ouch. Uh, my followers remain suspicious that you plan to your past crimes against us. See? Like, they remember! How awesome is that? And they urge me this time to act preemptively. Will you help me mollify them by transmitting your data on Centauri Empathy? Um, actually, I really don't want to go to war with you, so... Yeah, sure. Uh, that's not a terrible tech to give you. I'm pleased that you have refrained from interference in my life of worship. You are a most prudent leader. So my might is more than hers, but... I, it's not very concentrated, and I could definitely be overwhelmed. They, they can overrun you so fast, and she does have a four attack unit. Um, I believe we're finished here. A blood truce to Miriam of the Believers has been renewed. Oh, that's why she was coming to me. So the blood truce means we can't go at war with each other. Without severe diplomatic penalties. You fucking bitch! Launched a surprise attack. What? Uh, oh. So yeah, uh, like if I'd done that, your there's a uh, your integrity. Mine would have just dropped through the floor, and presumably the same thing will happen with her. You, bitch. Enemy project initiated. Begin with a function of arbitrary complexity. Feed it values. Sense data. Then take your result, square it, and feed it back into your original function, adding a new set of sense data. Continue to feed your results back into the original function ad infinitum. What do you have? The fundamental principle of human consciousness. Academician Prokhor Zaharov. The feedback principle. <sighs> All right. Um, that's not really that great. Hunter Seeker algorithm is really cool. Makes all your units and bases completely immune to all probe team actions. Uh, so the fact that we are so weak at probe means this is going to be a really high priority for us. But destroying a certain religious f freak is going to be an even higher priority Turn for us. Complete. Um, so... So, 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 so. Workshop. What can we build these days? Um, see, we're separated by water and everything. Maybe I'll just destroy her cities. So, 
I need a better weapon, actually. Alright, let's change our research priorities. Uh, shift R. Conquer. Direct military application. So that's complete. what we want. Um, and we will... So we can build a... 2-3... Yeah, we really need a better gun. Turn Hopefully complete. we can hold on a tiny little bit. She's not sticking around, so hopefully we got a couple of turns before all hell breaks loose. We got a decent amount of energy. We could rush by some military units. Push comes to shove. Um, planetary energy grid is complete. That's really a project that initiated. Oh, secret project. Infiltrators report the Gaians has lost the flowers preached to the hive. Oh, see, what are you doing, starting a war with me? Frankly, it could have been a uh, complete. A misclick from the AI, basically. Uh, I think they can do that sometimes when they've got a pathfind set um, in s it, uh, with a certain freakish timing, where they'll run into another unit and attack it, and literally accidentally go to war through a misclick. But I don't know. She could have plans. She does have a lot of cities. I really should. Um... Wow. The hard part is taking the first city, because you got to ferry these stupid units over using transports, and I don't even have any built. Um, yeah, as well, as these things complete their buildings, we're going to start popping out some stuff. Hopefully, we'll get some guns shortly too. Production complete. That'll make a big difference. Turn complete. Commerce Committee. Eight population, too. These cities are big. Much bigger than mine. Turn complete. Production complete. Transfoil, I guess you're healed up. Uh, you can go over this way. Turn complete. Forest. Hopefully we get some buildings done soon. Turn complete. Hopefully we get some guns soon. Humans. Oh. Correct in making leap from wealth as currency to wealth as energy. But logic failure. Wealth ultimately is extension of desire, fluctuating with emotions and state of mind. Desires. When all are supported in purely adaptable system, true wealth is achieved. Usurper Judamar. Human. Nature. Right, so that's another technology that's based on the aliens in the expansion. Um, so we can build the tr Thermocline Transducer. It's a base facility. Tidal harnesses generate one extra energy. Oh, that's actually pretty good. And the planetary energy grid, which we cannot build anymore, gives you a free energy bank everywhere. Meh. It's nice, but I'm not terribly upset that we lost it. New units. Uh, what are we new uniting? We already had this stuff, didn't we? Production complete. Should empty the queues is what we should do. Is there a quick way? Can I just hit delete? No, I guess delete here. Bam, bam, bam. Actually, what I'm going to do is I think I am going to call it a night, and we will ponder the situation together about Miriam and what exactly we're going to do with her. She does have a lot of territory. And Yang is starting to encroach on her, and Yang is already pretty goddamn powerful. And I don't want him to get stronger. At all. Um, so, we are going to consider what we can do to get involved in this war. Which may mean rushing out a bunch of transports, and then getting over there. Where did they take over a uh, city? Didn't they? Oh, it's here that... I saw. I thought I saw that, but that's not actually happening. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm, yeah, see, lots of buildings, lots of forest. Uh, starting over here wouldn't be a bad idea because we could take that monolith and use it to heal and stuff. We could land all our troops there initially. They'd all make sure to get upgraded. Uh, they would get, yeah. I like that idea. And then we can claim this whole t this whole continent for ourselves. And that will put us in a really, really good winning position later on. So, I'm going to save here and uh, see you next time, folks.